Hey, what's up YouTube? Mark here from the Backpacking Gear Net, and today we're gonna talk about the Helinox Chair Zero High Back. There's some things that I absolutely love about it, and there's something that might be a deal breaker, so you'll have to wait till the end for that. Before we get into that, can you please hit that like and subscribe button so that we can get this content out to more people? I have had the Helinox Chair Zero High Back, ever since the beginning of summer, right around the end of May. And I have absolutely loved this chair. There's so many things that I like about it. So the first thing I like about this chair is all of the poles are DAC aluminum, which is a really nice light material. The other thing that I really like is the legs are thicker. I don't get the same sort of wobble out of this that I did out of the original Chair Zero. The material of the seat is just like the other chair where it's made of a ripstop polyester. I've been told that there are strands of Kevlar in it, but I actually don't know if that's true or not. I didn't find anything that says that it is. So if you know the answer to that, please put that down in the comments so that we can get that information out to other people. I try hard to give you good, accurate information, but I'm not perfect and I don't know everything. And the Chair Zero high back holds 265 pounds, just like the original Chair Zero. Now when I sit in the old Chair Zero, it would wobble quite a bit. It wasn't like it was gonna fall down, it just wasn't really sturdy the way that, that I was hoping for. Now I know when my daughter sits in the original Chair Zero, she doesn't get a wobble out of it because she only weighs like 85 to 90 pounds. I went on a backpacking trip with a friend a couple weeks ago and we were doing 15 plus miles a day and I wanted to shave some weight so I took the original Chair Zero because six ounces is six ounces. But what I found is that every time I would sit in it, I just felt super wobbly now that I got used to the new one. So ever since then, I've been taking out the high back because I just find it to be more comfortable for me. I always had an issue with the original Chair Zero because if I sat upright, I had no back support at all. I always had to sit in a lounged position, and as long as I sat in that lounge position, I was super comfortable. For the Chair Zero high back, the chair sits more forward, so I can kick my feet out and lounge, or I can sit up and make my meals, and I feel supported the entire time. There's some other things about this chair. And that is, on the original Chair Zero, it's the same width at the bottom of the chair as it is up on the back of the chair. For the Chair Zero high back, goes from one width on the bottom and then it tapers as it goes up. For me, in my height, which is 6'1", when I sit on it, the taper works perfect on my back so that I don't feel like I'm getting squished. I know I've heard other people say that they feel like they get squished in the chair, but I've also noticed they're not as tall as I am. So for me, this chair fits my figure just perfect on my back, and it feels really nice and supportive. You would think that carrying an extra pound would be terrible, but it wasn't. I would find that I would have more fatigue by not carrying a chair than I did by when I carried a chair. Out on backpacking trips and that extra five or six inches of height on the back really felt good on me. Chair Zero High Back, the claimed weight of it is one pound, eight ounces. That's six ounces heavier than the original Chair Zero. So the question is, is it worth that extra weight to carry those extra six ounces? And I would say yes. There is something that you should know though. Just like the original Chair Zero, the Chair Zero High Back the legs sink into the ground. Some people say that's a deal breaker for them. I'll just be honest with you. I've always been able to make it work. I might have to play with it a little bit to get the legs and everything to sit level, but it works for me, and I'd rather have the chair to sit on. There's a hack that I saw on the internet, and I don't remember who I saw it from because it was months ago, and they were taking small wiffle balls and cutting a hole in it and putting it over the feet so that it had a little bit more ability to spread the weight out and not sink down as much. I'm thinking about giving that a try because apparently the wiffle balls are great because 
they don't weigh that much. All four of them together weigh less than an ounce. Now I told you there's something about this chair that might be a deal breaker for you, and that is the price. This chair, at the time of my purchase, cost me $167. The original chair, Ciro, was right around $120 when I bought it, so this chair is $40 more for the extra inches that you get on the back. That is a significant increase in price. So for some of you, you might say, that is just a deal breaker. Now for me, I would pay it again. This chair is so incredibly comfortable for me. So I hope my experiences have helped you in figuring out whether this chair is right for you or not. So can you please hit that like and subscribe button? And I'll see you on the next one.